Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Today what I want to take you through is the new media alarm capability here with your Google Home. Now, what I'm going to tell you right off the bat is today if you're not in the US, you can't use this feature. However, if you change your language right now to English United States, the feature will instantly work. Now, let me show you how it works. Let me show you what you can and can't do with that feature with your Google Home. All right, so we are gonna explore both the general and the media alarms. I'm gonna make sure I give you all the different commands and everything you can do with this part of Google Home here. So obviously you can set a new alarm, but you can also set an alarm with a name so that you can also cancel it later by name or modify it later by name. You can also set recurring alarms and then you can go through asking about certain alarms or all of your alarms and then of course you can cancel and stop them. Now like any good alarm clock Google Home has a snooze function as well. So now moving on to media alarms here. Now all the same commands exist except the difference here is whenever you're setting alarms you can set a music or a radio alarm. So you can use a radio station or you can use a specific song or a specific media that you have on your preferred music service. So that's important to keep in mind. You are using your preferred music service both on the radio side and the music side. Now if you wanted to stop an alarm, Google Home has a stop function just by touching it just like any other alarm clock has. So for the Google Home, you tap the top. For the Google Home Mini, you're pressing and holding either side. And for a Google Home Max, you're going to tap the line on the top or on the right side. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is set an alarm. So I'm not gonna set it with a name or anything. Hey Google, set an alarm for 6 a.m. You got it, your alarm set for tomorrow at 6 a.m. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add an alarm with a name. Hey Google, set an alarm called wake up at 7 a.m. Done, your alarm called wake up is set for tomorrow at 7 a.m. Now you'll notice that it pops up, but you're not given any name or indication of what that alarm is on the application. You'd actually have to ask Google Home about that. So let's set a recurring alarm. Set an alarm for weekdays at 8 a.m. You got it. Your alarm set on weekdays at 8 a.m. And there you go. I have my weekday alarm at 8 a.m. Hey Google, cancel my 6 a.m. alarm. All right, consider it canceled. Now let me go ahead and cancel by name the second alarm. Hey Google. Cancel my alarm named wake up. Okay, consider it canceled. So you can see it recognized the alarm by name even though the Google Home app had nothing in there. Now before I go ahead and cancel the last alarm, I'm actually going to ask Google to read out what alarms I currently have. Hey Google, what alarms do I currently have? You have an alarm on weekdays at 8 a.m. Now I'm going to go ahead and cancel my hey recurring alarm. Cancel my alarm. Sure, it's canceled. Hey Google, set an alarm for 8.41. Okay, your alarm set for 8.41 p.m. Now I want to go ahead and I want to show you what the tone is for the alarm. I realize lots of you probably already know this, but it's important when you're seeing the general alarm for the first time here. And then we're going to move on to the media alarms. So you can see as the alarm triggers, I can actually manipulate the volume of that alarm on the Google Home application. The other thing that's very interesting is if I ask Google Home to snooze, you can see the alarm move 10 minutes. Hey Google, snooze. Sure, you've got 10 more minutes. Hey Google, stop alarm. If you just asked about stopping an alarm, there are actually none going off at the moment. 
So you can see you can't actually ask Google Home to stop an alarm even though you've snoozed that alarm. You will have to go ahead and ask it to cancel that alarm. Hey Google, cancel my alarm. Sure, I canceled it. So now moving on to media alarms, I'm going to show you how those work. So we're going to start with just a standard 6 a.m. alarm. Hey Google, set a radio alarm for 6 a.m. tomorrow. All right, and what radio would you like me to play? 102.9. There, I'll play 102.9 radio for tomorrow at 6 a.m. Now I used a radio station for that alarm. You could have used a song just the same by asking it to set a music or a media alarm. Hey Google, set a radio alarm for 844. All right, and what radio would you like me to play? Sonic 102.9. All right, I'll play Sonic 102.9 radio for 844 p.m. The important piece to me about this alarm, just before it comes up here, is the fact that it hits hard. It doesn't ease in. There's no slow rise of volume here. Run, so now the last thing I'm going to do is just set a music alarm on a series basis, just so you can see it works exactly the same. And then we're all done this demo here. Hey Google. Set a music alarm for weekdays at 8 a.m. Sure, and what music would you like me to play? Wake Me Up. There, I'll play the song Wake Me Up on weekdays at 8 a.m. All right, well, there you go. So I think you can tell, you know, this is a pretty useful feature. I think it's finally going to trigger me to use the Google Home for the first time for an alarm. I really haven't enjoyed using it in the past. I've used it for timers, but I've never used it for an alarm to wake up each and every morning. And I think now the functionality is there that will get me to actually use this. Now, of course, if this video has helped you out, or if you're having any sort of trouble, go ahead, leave a comment below. I'm happy to help you out and I'm, I'm even happier to heal, hear that it's worked out for you. So otherwise, subscribe, like our channel. We'd love to have you here and we'd love to have you getting these new features from Google Home each and every week here as we put out more and more videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.